Hi guys and welcome to another Divi video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Well, we've been putting together this little site, got a little hero section here we did the other day, and a little about us section with a scroll effect. Today we're going to do this little call to action bar with a little scroll effect and it's going to be sticky so it sticks to the top. As you can see as I roll up there's nothing there. It's going to fade in and then when we get to the top it's going to stick there and that's great if you've got a feature or service that you're trying to promote really easy to do so let's get started first thing I'm going to do is enable my visual builder once enabled I'll go down to just below our little about section and there it is and I'm going to simply delete this okay so let's create a new section I've got something below simply that service section we'll do that in another video uh, so we've got something to scroll to and from I'm going to create a regular section here inside I'm going to put a column of two and this is entirely up to you however work however it is that suits whatever you're putting up there I'm going to use a blurb module in the first one purely because it's got an icon. I'm going to get rid of this, the title. I'm going to go down and put my message in here or my call to action in here. Whatever it is you want to say. As you can see, it's got it down there. Image and icon. I want to use an icon. So I'm going to flip the little switch to on and choose an appropriate icon. I think as it's a quote, I think I use the question mark, but obviously you've got all these little elegant themes icons to choose from here and there's plenty of them. Okay. Link wise, well, we can link this if we want to, but I'm not going to link it because I'm going to add a button. We'll use that for a link. So let's just go over to our design. I'm not going to put a background in right now. image and icon well I'm going to turn this white it'll disappear I'll leave it that color for the minute so it doesn't disappear and I actually want to put mine on the left and icon font size I think I'll make it a little bit smaller than that I think about 20 pixels would do it great because because we're going to make this sticky you don't want it too intrusive so we're not we don't want it too deep and for this one over here I'm just simply going to add a button and we're using all the regular features of the Divi theme here we're not using any plugins to do this today so I'm going to hit a button put that in there the reason my buttons purple with blue like that is purely that's the way I've got it set up in my customizer but you can customize this button any way you want so I'm going to come back and organize those in a minute. I'm just going to save this, but I'm going to go into the section we created, the blue tab for a section. I'm going to give it a black background. Again, give it whatever color background you want. And while we're in here, I'm going to make it sticky and I'm going to take away any padding that we've got top and bottom. Because like I say, we don't want it too big up there because it's going to stick under our menu. So let's go over to design. To spacing and we'll take out any padding top and bottom simply put a zero in it'll put the picks in hit the chain it'll do the opposite size and as you can see that shrunk that down we still got some padding on our row but we'll adjust that later now like I say we want to make this sticky so to do that let's go over to our advanced we'll go to scroll effects right at the top sticky position I'm going to say stick to top so when it gets up the top there it's going to stick there and like I say that's a great thing for promotions and things that you want to people to see all the time okay so let's go back in and let's start styling our little sections here back into the blurb setting I'm going to go to my design image and icon I want to make that white I might decide to make it a little bit bigger I'm not sure yet and the text itself you can go in there like that or if you hover over it's got a little blue paintbrush there 
just left click on that it'll take you to exactly the right place for whatever it's attached to well I want to put my text in the middle spread it out a little bit I'm going to make it white and let's just say round that up to 15 that's fine great now let's go into our button I want to make this a bit skinnier and I'll take away that default purple at the beginning and I want to put it in the middle also so let's go in there I'm going to go to my design alignment of course click here is okay if we get a quote but let's make it more personal and say get a quote or get a quote or whatever it is makes sense to you now the link I'll come back and add that in a minute I might throw a quick section in down the bottom and show you how to link to a section because this wants to either link to your quote page or a contact us form and what I've got in mind for this site is just a one page scroller with a contact at the bottom so I'll throw in a quick contact in a minute and we'll do that so let's go over to our design now alignment let's move this across buttons in the middle that's fine text I'll leave that just as it is here we are button use custom styles for button text size I'm gonna take that down to 15 as well I think that's what we use for our text in the middle there text color is fine and let's roll down button background I'm gonna make that the same as our bar black or I could take it away altogether with a transparent but I want it to have a white border so we, here's our border border width two picks make it as thick or as thin as you want button border color I'll make that white and I don't want to see that little arrow really when I hover over it and I think I'll make it uppercase as well there we go and I'm not going to have that icon so I'm going to switch that off with show button icon right there now I think I want to make that button a little skinnier so if we go down to spacing to make it skinnier or fatter use padding to give it space up and below and left and right use margin so padding wise I want to take it all away and see what that does I'll put a zero in there and yeah, maybe just a little too skinny right there so let's up that so a couple of picks that works for me I've got the chain checked so it does both sides at once I think I might make that border slightly smaller so I'm going to go back up to button got my custom styles open border width two picks I'm going to take that down to one picks there we go okay great now I want to make this bar a bit skinnier and we'll have to align a little bit of text there because it's a bit higher than the button so let's go into our row green tab for the row I'll go to spacing on that let's take all the padding away and see what we've got okay I'll we'll take it away on the bottom as well great well let's give it say five picks top and bottom so let's leave it at five okay and now let's go into a little blurb thing here dark tab for the module and we want to push it down just a little bit so we can give it a bit of margin at the top we'll go to our design spacing here's the margin here's the top I'm just going to click on the little arrow push it down to where it's fairly central there I think four was good that looks right to me great so we've got it the size that we want it and it should stick to the top there fantastic just check that buttons in the middle I think it, it looks like it's on the left to me so let's go into the module design alignment yeah there we go let's put put it in the middle that spreads it out more uniformly for me okay so we've got everything where we want it now but let's add a little scroll effect I want it to sort of fade in from the bottom there these are the ones we got them sort of growing 
which is fine. If I have a grow on this, it may be too much, but I wouldn't mind it fading in until it gets to about there. It can be totally faded in. That's great. Okay, so let's do that. And to do that, I'm going to go into the row, the green tab itself, advanced. If you do it on the actual section, it's going to shrink it in so you'll see the white background behind. But I just want the black bar with the writing fading in, so I'm going into the row and doing everything in the row. So I'm going to go to advanced, scroll effects, and what I want it to do, I want it to fade. Click on fade there. I'm going to select on. Let's take it down. Now I don't want it to be visible at all there. So I really want it to start fading in about there. So I'm going to take the bottom viewport, pull it up till that disappears. See it? There we go, it's disappearing. Now when we roll up, that's fine. Roll back down, that's fine too. Now if you wanted to, you could actually change the background of that bar when it's sticky by going into the section. And if you look at here at background, if you hover over the little black legending there, you'll see a little pin icon. Now if you click on that pin icon, it'll give you a non-sticky state and a sticky state. Now when it's sticky, you can change effects and change colors and things like that. So let's say when it's sticky, you can make it purple. When it's not sticky, it's black. And if we just save that now, we roll up the page, when it sticks to the top, it's going to become purple. And you could do the same thing for that button background there if you wanted to. Let's go into the button. Design. Button. We're in the custom styles. Button background. Again, hover over. There it is. There's a sticky state. Little pin right there. When it's sticky, we'll make that background purple. If I move this over so you can see. So we've still got our nice little outline there. Save that. There we go. I think that works quite nicely, actually. Okay, what I was saying about making a link, because you want, to, want it to scroll to somewhere, what I'm quickly going to do now is create a new section. I'll make a regular section. I've got a row in my library with a title already in there, blue title. And I'll call that contact. I'm doing this very quickly just for demonstration. We'll redo this contact section in a little while. Okay, I'm going to add a new row single row I'm going to put a contact form in there I'm just going to leave it just like that just so we've got something to scroll down to and let's go in here and we'll just change that to contact and I'm going to give this an ID I'm going to go into the section and give it an ID so we can scroll to it so I'm in the section I'm going to advanced CSS ID in classes I'm going to give it an ID of contact. Call it what you want. It's got to be unique though, and you want to be able to remember what it is. So we've got everything we need there. Now if we go back up to this and to our button, we can make it scroll to our contact section down there by going in, going to the link, putting a hashtag because it's a CSID and the name of the CSSID itself. So when we click on that button, it should scroll down there for us. So let's save our changes. Save the page changes. And exit the Visual Builder. And let's scroll down. And there's our little call to action bar. And the writing should start to fade in. There it is. It's fading in there with our little button. When we get to the top, it should stick up there and turn purple. Great. When we click on it, should take us down to our contact section and there we go simple as that and that's a nice little feature to have on your site when we scroll back up and it gets to where it was it'll come back down again so there you go guys that's how to create a sticky call to action bar with a bit of scroll effect on it i hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful if you have please give it a thumbs up comment share and subscribe to our youtube channel once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. 
have a great day.